All right, Shalom. First and foremost, like give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Wakarkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders who preach the word to this city. The names of Yahweh Hashem El Shai Bahashem Wakarkadash. And Heavenly Father's true name is uh, Yahweh of Israel. And His only got Son, Yahweh Shai Bahashem. Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Masha wants to the whole tongue. And once again, I say Shalom to the uh, elders. And shalom to the Akiyam, and shalom to the Akwa. So, out here, another day on the highways and hedges, the Wadi Yahab Hashem El Shaf giving us the opportunity and chance to come out here to do so on the highways and hedges on this, uh, on this uh, Friday noon, uh, 12 18 p.m., Friday, October, Friday, October the 6th, 2023. And the Wadi Yahab Hashem El Shaf are giving us the opportunity and chance to come out here to do so. And continue to press, proclaim and profess the names of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, out here on the highways and hedges on this uh, Friday noon, uh, October the 6th, Friday afternoon, and uh, Friday, October the 6th, 2023, on this Friday. Hey, the Wadi Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, once again, for giving us an opportunity and chance. And this is uh, 2 Ezra, chapter 90, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure up the time diligently in itself. When thou seest the parts of the signs past, which I have told thee before. Right, so we're measuring the time diligently in itself, you know. We see what's taking place in the world today, but hey, that's why we are on our watch. It's like it says in uh, Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 17, I have set thee watchmen, um, I have set thee watchmen, which is us, you know, because we are the watchmen of Israel. Hey, we sound the alarm, blowing the trumpet, concerning the times, and measuring the times diligently in itself, you know. Because these are the signs that the Heavenly Father said was going to come to pass, you know. And that's why we are, uh, uh, that's why we are taking heed to these, uh, uh, taking heed to that what the Heavenly Father spoke of, you know, of uh, these uh, signs, these increasing biblical signs that we're seeing that's taking place in the world today. So it's only going to increase, you know. That's why we're concerning the times, measuring the time diligently in the civil. As we continue to be on our watch, we sit down lessons out here on the highways and hedges, as you see, you know. And continue to uh, prophesy, even if we prophesy unto the wind, you know. And we see in these uh, biblical signs, major events, and global events are increasing in the world today. You know, that's why we're continuously being on our watch and measuring the time diligently in itself, like we had the Father spoke of from the days of before the even from the beginning, you know. But I'm gonna read it again for edification's sake. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 9 and verse 1 of the Apocrypha book, so the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, He answered me then and said, Measure without the time diligently in itself. When thou seest the parts of the signs past, which I have told thee before. Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 2. It says, Then thou shalt understand it is a very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right? And that's what the Heavenly Father is doing. And he's visiting this earth with these weather-like conditions. Tornadoes, earthquakes, landslides, floods. And I believe, you know, you had that magnitude of a 6.1 earthquake all the way to 6.6 .6 of a magnitude of an earthquake over there in the islands of Japan, you know. In the aftershock, they've been having multiple earthquakes from a magnitude of a 5.1 all the way to a 5.7. And we've been seeing increasing of these earthquakes in diverse places. I just did, uh, did a sit down lesson, I would say like, I'd say about 10, 10 minutes ago, it was a 4.2 magnitude of an earthquake over there uh, in Alaska, you know? So, hey, we starting to see the Heavenly Father visit this earth more and more and more. Now, so more than ever with these weather-like conditions. The tornadoes, the earthquakes, the landslides, the floodings, the famines, the pestilence, and plagues is only going to increase. So, it's only going to increase more and more of signs that us seeing the Heavenly Father visiting this earth with these weather-like conditions, you know? And this is what we're out here prophesying about, you know? And this is uh, 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, and verse 3 of the Apocrypha book. So the Holy Scriptures in reads, it says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars in the people of the world, right, what's taking place, uh, Turkey, the Turkish army versus the Kurdistan armies, they use an air strike and drone attacks at one another, you know, you see seeing escalations uh, with the Russian Ukraine situation heating up now so more than ever. Uh, we see it was taking place over there in the South China Sea, Taiwan Strait, not too far from the territorial islands over there. And we've been seeing uh, escalations, seditions, and uprisings and uproars of people in the world. And we're going to continue to see that increase, you know, right along with the uh, earthquakes in diverse places. So these signs is only going to increase, these increasing of these signs that was going to occur in these times, you know. 
it's like in ancient times, we only see this in modern day times. Because like the scripture says, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and verse 9 of the Holy Scriptures, you know, I roughly paraphrase that scripture, and there's no new thing under the sun. We're going to see more and more increasing of these uh, signs. And this is what we are here prophesying about. Just like the prophet of old did, Jeremiah 28, 8, prophesied against great countries and great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. You know, that's what we're prophesying, prophesying uh, in modern day times as well, too. About the wars, evils, and the pestilence is only going to increase as we prophesy against great countries and great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So it's only going to increase. So this is what we are out here prophesying about in modern day times. Just like the prophets of old did in Jeremiah 28 8, you know. But continuing on, this is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 9, verse 4. It says, Then thou shalt well understand that the Most High spake of these things from the days of it before thee, even from the beginning. Right, from the days of it before thee, even from the beginning. You know, and we're taking heat to that, you know. Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 5. For like all that is made in a world, and hath a beginning and a end is manifested. Right, and these uh, signs that we are seeing, these beautiful signs, it's only going to be that uh, get us to the kind of we are in the left hand, just like in ancient times. Now we're seeing this transpire into modern day times, you know, because we are in those times. We are uh, at the times of increasing of the latter end. So the beginning of the end and the end is being manifested. Increasing of these biblical signs about to increase and these prophecies that's about to be fulfilled and is about to come to pass as well too. So we are increasingly slowly but surely we're seeing it more and more as the more prophesy of these signs, the more we see it more and more and more. Uh, now so more than ever. So the beginning of the end the end is being manifested. And we're seeing that now so more than ever, you know. Now I'm gonna get into that uh Matthew 24th chapter as you can the book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 1 and it reads to the Holy Scriptures it says uh, and this is the book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 1 and Hamashiach which is our Lord and our Savior Matthew 24 and verse 1 and Hamashiach went out and departed from the temple and his disciples came unto him to shew the buildings of the temple Matthew 24 and verse 2 and Hamashiach said unto them See not all these things, I verily say unto you, there shall not be left one stone one upon another, and there shall not be drawn down. Matthew 24 and verse 3, it says, As it said, as in the, in the Mount of Olives, and the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and when shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world. Matthew 24 and verse 4. Right, because we got uh, the disciples asked Yahushua, when shall be these signs coming in the end of the world? And Yahushua replied to them because they had a private meeting between the disciples and our Lord and our Savior, Hamashiach, you know? And, yeah, and, and our Lord and our Savior, Hamashiach, replied to the disciples once they had a uh, private meeting. And he replied to them when he said, uh, Matthew 24 and verse 4, and he reads to the Holy Scriptures. And Hamashiach answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Right, so we won't get tossed to and fro in different ways of doctrine, you know. Just like God shall reply to the disciples. And we're taking heed to that still to this day in modern day times. Hey, not get tossed to and fro. As the scripture says in the book of Daniel, knowledge shall increase, you know. You know, we are we definitely want to follow the path of increasing our knowledge of the true sound doctrine of the gospels of the Holy Scriptures of our Heavenly Father, Yahweh of Israel, you know, as us being the children of Israel, you know. This is a, I'm going to read, I'm going to read it again. This is a Matthew 24 and verse 4. And it reads through the Holy Scriptures. And Hamashiach answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Matthew 24 and verse 5. For many shall come in my name, say, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive me. Matthew 24 and verse 6. And it says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled for all these things must first come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right, so we're going to see more increasing of these uh, wars and rumors of wars. So escalations are increasing over there in the Middle East, you know, especially throughout Iraq and Syria, you know. So those are prime examples of increasing of these uh, modern day wars and rumors of wars. We're going to continue to see that increase, you know. Matthew 24 and verse 7. For nation to rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Right, that's what we're seeing in modern day times. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. So all this is going to increase. Matthew 24 and verse 8. All of these are the beginning of sorrows. Right, so these are the increasing stages of our sorrows that we see in taking place in the world today. You know, the 
tornadoes, the earthquakes, the landslides, the floodings, all these increasing biblical signs, these just the increasing signs are beginning of us always. It's only going to increase. And this is what we are uh, out here prophesying, you know, especially the men of the Lord that's out here on the highways and hedges. Of the areas where we've been scattered at, definitely over here in North America, in the areas where we've been scattered at, you know. That's why it says in Matthew 24 14, and the gospel of this kingdom shall be preached unto all the world for a witness. And that's what you see. They're going to continue to see more of these increasing uh, biblical signs as you see the uh, prophets of the Heavenly Father uh, out here. We are out here prophesying through the four winds of the globe, you know, prophesying of these uh, signs. Uh, Matthew 24 verse 9 it says then shall they deliver you up and you shall be afflicted and they shall K-I-L-L -L you and ye shall be hated of all it says and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake right that's going to occur in these uh, times and this is uh, Matthew 24 and verse 10 it says and then shall many be offended and they shall betray one another and they shall H-A-T-E one another Matthew 24 verse 11 it says, and many false prophets shall, shall rise and shall deceive many. Right, that's why we, we cannot be uh, tossed back to the throat in different winds of doctrine. And we got to stay in the correct sound doctrine of the Holy Scriptures. Like it says in Revelation 1 and 3, blessed he that read it. Uh, through precepts I get understanding, you know, to uh, study to show that I self approve as we continue to uh, walk in that path and continue to learn in that path. And that's coming back into the ways of Heavenly Father and coming back to uh, the, the knowledge of the uh, Holy Scriptures and the, uh, continuing understanding of it, you know. So we got to definitely have a spiritual eye and not let no man deceive us because it's going to be many false prophets are going to increase in a lot of days, you know. So we definitely try to take a step back away from that and try our best to spiritually, spiritually separate from that, you know, to the best of our ability. But uh, continuing on, this is uh, Matthew 24 and verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall rise up. And right, that's going to increase in a lot of ways as well, too. The love of many are going to be exposed. So that's, you know, going into lawlessness, seditions, uprise, of course. Uh, please see Asaphus chapter 39, verse 28, which is the book of Sorak, chapter 39, verse 28, of the apocryphal books of the Holy Scriptures. You know, uh, vengeful spirits, seditions, uprises, of course, and people in the world, loving many are waxing cold. You know, it's only going to increase. So iniquity, iniquities is only going to increase. Iniquities of lawlessness of the loving many should wax cold, and that's going to increase in a lot of ways. You know, and this is what we're out here prophesying about, you know, wars, evils, you know, wars, evils, and, and other categories of things that's taking place in this world today in modern day time. And we're going to continue to be in that spirit of prophesying of these signs. These are the increase of what these are in modern day uh, signs of the time. This is uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. You know, Lord willing, we be those men that be uh, saved, you know, as we continue to fight for our salvation. Like uh, scripture says, uh, to make make thy calling election sure. You know, that's why we're out here on the highways and hedges, bidding Israel back into the marriage, telling them that they are the children of Israel, of the respective 12 tribes of Israel, of the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. And we continue on in the path of the Heavenly Father to the best of our ability, you know, as we continue to rehearse the righteous acts, bidding Israel back into the marriage, come back into the ways of righteousness, turn from our evil and wicked ways, come back into the ways of righteousness, in the sight of the Heavenly Father, the Bible of Israel, you know. Uh, continue on, this is uh, Matthew 24 and verse 14. And, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached unto all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then the end shall come. Right, just like it says in Second Ezra 95, the beginning of the end, and the end is being manifested with these increasing of people's signs. That's why we're out here on, uh, on the highways and edges, preaching the uh, sound doctrine and the true gospel of the Holy Spirit, of the power of Israel, you know. Matthew 24 and 14, I'm going to read it again. It says, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached unto all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then the end shall come. So we're going to see more increasing signs of that. Just like it says, uh, I shall raise you up at the last days. So the Heavenly Father is raising up his men in these latter days and preaching uh, the words of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh of Israel, in the uh, sound doctrine of the Holy Scriptures. And that's why we are out here on the highways and hedges, like I mentioned again, you know. So, Lord willing, on the one rock us off, Lord willing, we need those men that be uh, saved, you know. Uh, 
of the terms that we're about to enter into as long as we continue to endure to the end. Like it says, uh, endure hardness as a good soldier for Hamashiach, which is our Lord and our Savior, as we continue to endure to the end to the best of our ability, as, the heavens, as, we, uh, as we continue to uh, be in that spirit and hopefully the Heavenly Father continue us to push forth us in that spirit and continue to endure. Because it says in uh, Isaiah 33 6, wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our times. Because you look up that word stability, that goes into having a sound mind, you know. So wisdom and knowledge definitely should be the stability of our times and the strength of salvation and the fear of the Lord's treasure, you know. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13, uh, the, fear, the, fear of the, the fear of your power of Israel, you know, keeping his commandments because we still got to keep his commandments still to this day, you know. So the laws, the law, statutes, and commandments is not done away with. It still stands to this day, you know. Because the heavenly Father say so, you know. Hey, we got to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. We come back into the ways of the heavenly Father and turn from our evil, wicked ways. And that's what we are out here to bid against the world's commandments and turn from our evil and wicked ways. Just like it says in Isaiah 55 and 6, seek even more while he may be found, call upon him while he is near. Because we're about to enter into some. Uh, a serious time, just like it says in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1, also in the latter days, perilous times shall come. And these are the times that we're about to enter into. And this is what we are out here prophesying about, about the wars and evils and the pestilence. It's only going to increase in these uh, times that we are in, you know. Now we're going to get into that uh, Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16 of the uh, MOTB, which is just central digital main currency in order to buy or sell. <laughs> This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, and verse 16, and it calls all those small and great rich and poor for your bond to receive a M-A-R-K, which is that Karagma, in their R-I-G-H-T, H-A-N-D, or in their F-O-R-E-H-E-A-D-S, right? Even if you're rich and poor for your bond to receive that M-A-R-K, which is the upper part of your body and the right part of your body, you know, in order to buy your sale. That's why they're pushing for the essential digital bank currency, cashless, uh, cashless society, in order to buy or sell, in order to maintain your, your separatist uh, society of this modern day Babylonian economical system, you know. And this is a uh, major prophecy that's about to be fulfilled, you know. This is what we are here prophesying about. And this is uh, Revelation chapter 13 and verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, say that he had the M A R K or the name of the B E A S T, which is this modern day Babylonian system, or the number of his name. So it's going to be a, a time and point when soon as we enter into these times as we get closer and closer to it as we approach to it and it's going to be a time where in order for you to uh to make transactions in order for you to buy or sell in order for you to go to the grocery store even to be able to gain access into these grocery stores and you got to have you got to comply and conform to that technology that they want to this day that they want to store in your body which is the upper part of your body the rock part of your body in order to buy your sale and that's why we have here telling the children of Israel so we got to come out of those ways and come back into the ways of the heavenly father have our faith and love and trust in him and not having no technology stored in, your, stored in our body which is the upper part of the upper part of your body and the bottom part of your body in order to buy your sale we got to come out of those ways and continue to have our faith and love and trust in the ways of the heavenly father and not the ways of this world even though we are of this world, but not of it mentally and spiritually. That's why we're out here telling the children of Israel, come back to the heavenly Father, turn from your evil and wicked ways, and that's what we're doing this way too, as we continue to rehearse the righteous acts to the best of our ability, and other one Rothschild, just like in Revelation 3 and 10, may the heavenly Father, other one Rothschild, Lord willing, keep us from that house of temptation. And that's what we're about to enter into, you know, this uh, MOTB, of this uh, M-A-R-K, which is that Karaka of this technology, that even if you're a rich or poor, free or bond, upper class, middle class, or lower class, that they want you to take this technology, you know, they want you to comply to it, they want you to conform to it. And once they make it mandatory, and once they make it roll out, you know, as very soon we see the uh, paper dollar is going to be a thing in the past. As we move forward of uh, this pushing of this MARK, you know, under this uh, BEAST modern day Babylonian economical system. That's why they're pushing for this 2030 agenda. That's why they're pushing for this artificial intelligence, you know? Because uh, Revelation 12 12, the ultimate deceivership come down with great wrath and they have a short term. You know? I'm going to read it again. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, and verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, say that he had the M A R K, which is that Karaka, or the name of the B E A S T, which is this modern day Babylonian system, or the number of his name. 
And there's going to be a lot of people that's going to be gladly to take it. And then there's going to be a lot of people that's going to rebel against it and not take it, you know. But there's going to be leaders in these uh, respectable countries around the world, you know. Hey, they're going to uh, try to their best to uh, ban this uh, M-A-R-K of this B-E-A-S-T system in order to buy or sell, you know. So that's going to uh, cause a lot of seditions, a lot of uprising, a lot of protests. And that. As we've been seeing for the past couple of months or so over there in Europe, you know, you've been having citizens over there saying they don't want to take that technology of this uh, MARK, of this MOTV, you know. So it's going to cause a lot of uh, protests, a lot of seditions, a lot of uprisings. And then it's going to be one people on the other side that's going to be gladly to take it. And we've been seeing uh, videos circling the internet that they want to take that technology in order to buy or sell. You know, they uh, they use it up on up their hand to uh, make it as a transaction or the, part, or the upper part of their head to make it as a transaction, you know. And this is what we're entering into. And they've been showing that in the uh, books. You know, they've been showing that in uh, anything that's related to that, they've been showing that. They've been showing it right in front of our face. And then a lot of people is going to be gladly to take that. And then there's going to be other people that's not going to be not going to be too pleased with that and the leaders in these countries they're not going to be too pleased with that as well too they're going to try to bend and this is these are the times that we got to enter into so that's why we tell the children of israel of the respectable 12 tribes of israel from the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom do not take that technology do not comply to it do not conform to it come back into the ways of the heavenly father even through the ups and downs continue to have your faith and love and trust in the heavenly father come back into the ways of the heavenly father come back to you being the children of israel you know and this is uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 18. Here is wisdom, let him have understanding. Count the number of the B-E-A-S-T, which is this, uh, uh, this system, this modern day Babylonian system. For it is a number, and it, for it is the number of, of a man, and his number is S-I-X-3034. <clears throat> now I'm gonna switch up the spirit, get into uh, Jeremiah. As we continue to see, once again, this uh, modern day Babylonian system, have drunken her her wine therefore the nations are mad right just like in ancient babylon uh babylon having a golden cup in the lord's hand now we're seeing that transpire into modern day times of this modern day babylonian system so the nations have drunken on the ways of babylon now we're starting to see slowly but surely of these nations are starting to be mad at this modern day babylonian system as the heavenly father against this modern day Babylonian system just like he did in ancient times. Now we're seeing that transpire into modern day times and the heavenly father have us to come out here to prophesy and to go against this modern day Babylonian system spiritually by the words of the heavenly father, you know. And this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 8. It says, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take bond for her pain as though she may be healed. Right, so there's no healing for this modern day Babylonian system. Even though it's trying to uh, continuously increasingly now so more than ever in these modern day times, trying to find ways to bounce back, trying to uh, for it to be continuously increasing revival of this modern day Babylonian system. And we want to continue to see more signs of this modern day Babylonian system on a decline now so more than ever as we continue to prophesy of this modern day Babylonian system. As we see it come, this, uh, come into full effect of this modern day Babylonian system, it's on being on the decline now so more than ever. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 9, it says, We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsaken her and let us go every one to his own country. For her judgments reach up into the heavens and is lifted up even to the sky. Right, so that shows you that this modern day Babylonian system is being exposed to what it is. And we're seeing the uh, increasing downfall and the downturn of this modern day Babylonian system. We're going to continue to see signs of it, you know. And I'm going to the uh, Revelations. And this is the book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 1. It says, And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was like with his glory. And this is Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 2. And he cried, My believe with a strong voice, saying, Thou the Lord Christ fallen. Nations 
have committed fornication with her, and they've been drunken off the ways of this modern day Babylonian system in many different aspects, but definitely from an economical sense and from a political uh, standpoint. Sense. Not trying to compete with them, but I'm like that. turning away from it, they've been drunken off it, they've been confused of it, they've been highly influenced of it, still to this day, we're starting to see that take a, take a turn around, we're starting to see that take a four, four, six of these nations are now hit to the ways of this modern-day California system. They're starting to come out of those ways, now they're starting to turn, uh, uh, be angry and against this Revelations 18.3, it says, For all the nations have drunk another wine, the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundancy of her melodies. Right, so the nation's been waxed rich in committed fornication with her of this modern day Babylonian system, just like in ancient times. That's why Babylon happened to go to cover the Lord's hand. You know, now we're starting to see this modern day Babylonian system is taking the toll on it of it's been on a decline and it's been exposed to what it is of its unrighteous decrees, evilness, and wickedness uh, of what it been, been portrayed throughout the whole world, you know, to see the whole world of this evilness and wickedness and unrighteousness and unfairness, you know. That's why we're starting to see the nations out turning against this modern day Babylonian system. That's why we're starting to see the Heavenly Father increasingly exposing this modern day system against this modern day system. And against this, uh, in the, and, and we are against this modern day uh, system as well too. So we're definitely going to continue to see the increasing impact of this modern day Babylonian system uh, continuously on the on the decline now. So more than ever, you know. Now I'm going to switch up the spirit and get into the uh, Second Timothy's. So yeah, we're about to enter in some uh, perilous, uh, perilous times, you know. And this is, uh, <clears throat> and like I mentioned again, this is what we're out here prophesying about the modern day times. And this is uh, Second Timothy chapter three, verse one. Just know also that in the last days, perilous times should come. Right, we're seeing that slowly but surely, and we're going to get into it in, in full effect once it comes into, once it uh, increases and comes into full effect. You know, and we're about to see some unprecedented times, which we are seeing right now. But we're about to see some um, increasing of unprecedented, important, dangerous times like that before. You know? Just like it says in Matthew 24 and 21, when you look up the word tribulation, that goes into uh, great sufferings and great troubles. And this is what we're about to enter into, you know. So slowly but surely, we're about to enter into those times, you know. And this is what we're out here prophesying about, like I mentioned again numerous times, you know. Even if I sound like a corporate record player, and even if I sound like a corporate record player, Second uh, Timothy's. These, this is going to be the last scripture I'm going to close out a little earlier today. This is uh, Matthew 24. I mean, Salaki. Uh, Second Timothy, chapter three, and verse one. This know also that in the last days perilous times should come. Matthew's. I mean, Second uh, Timothy, chapter three, and verse two. For men shall be lovers of themselves, covetous, boasters, uh, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Proverbs 16, uh, I believe in the scripture says, uh, Proverbs 16 and verse 18, pride go before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 3, it says, without natural affection, true breakers, false accusers, in content, fear is despiser of those that are good, right? Fear is despiser of those that are good. Uh, Isaiah 5 and 20, one to them that call evil good and good evil. Uh, I, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 4, Traitors, hideous, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than the lovers of love Yahweh. Right? Traitors, hideous, high-minded, Ple uh, the love of more of pleasure of themselves more than the lovers of, of Yahweh. Rather than try to inquire to seek the ways and love the ways of the righteous path and the righteous ways of the heavenly Father Yahweh of Israel, but they do the total opposite of that. You know? uh, just like it says once again, Isaiah 5 20 to them that call evil good and good evil. Uh, Job 9 to 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, coming the faces of the just thereof. First Maccabees 3 and 48, they fake the likeness of this image, of this false image, of this modern day uh, 
B-E-A-S-T modern day Babylonian system, you know. Fuck the team known we'll read again. This is 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 4. Traitors, atheists, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than the lovers of Yahweh. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse uh, 5. Have a form of godliness, but not but denying the powers thereof, but therefore but such turn of away. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 6. It says, For of this sort are they which creep into the house and lay captive city women, laid in the sin, and laid away the diverse lusts. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 7. It says, uh, Ever learning and never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. Just like it says in uh, John 8 32, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. You know? So the truth shall make you free for us coming out of the ways of this uh, modern day uh, Babylonian uh, system. You know? This is us, uh, Brian Marie again. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 7 and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. It says, ever learning and never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. Right, so Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. John 8, 32, and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. You know, matter of fact, uh, I'll say I was going to end it there, but you know, the spirit keep, keep me going. I'm going to bring up that first John 2 and 15. And this is the book of 1 John 2 and 15. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Right? So, us loving the ways of this world, especially the Israelite man, you know, because you got the Israelites that still love this world, and they still don't know that they, they are the Israelites, you know? So, we got to come back into the ways of the Heavenly Father and turn from our evil and wicked ways. Come out of the ways of this modern day Babylonian system. They're coming back into the ways of the Heavenly Father. You know? That's why we are out here on the highways and edges, bidding Israel to marriage. Rather they hear it from here, you know, this, this is still going to be brought out, you know, rather people, rather the Israelites like it or not, you know. You know, I'm just saying that as a prime example, you know, while we're out here on the highways and edge, you know, preaching the words of the Heavenly Father, the Yahweh of Israel, through the Holy Scriptures. And I'm reading again for edification's sake of this lesson. This is uh, 1 John 2 and 15. It says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. All right, just like the scripture says, James 1 and 8, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So it's important for the Israelite man to come back into the ways of the Heavenly Father and not have your mind 100% uh, indulge in the ways of this modern-day Babylonian system. Because you can't love the Heavenly Father and love the ways of this world 100%. It doesn't work like that because that's unbalanced. That's unstable. Even though everything is unbalanced, we understand it, you know, but it's best to trust the ways of the heavenly father that have all this world. Rather trust me in the bounds of the ways of this world, you know. Like it says in Isaiah 29 and verse 16, surely your things is turned upside down as they seem as a potter's plate, you know. Because Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of wicked, you know. We don't want to uh, fully 100% indulge in the ways and the fullness of uh, care of this modern day society. You know, we got to come back to the ways of the heavenly father turn from my evilness and wickedness and stop continually 100% performing to the ways of this world. Like scripture says, the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the sight of the heavenly father. You know? So having that wisdom and knowledge and understanding from the holy scriptures and from the heavenly father, that's the best option to choose, especially that you are an Israelite man, you know. So it's important to come back into the ways of the heavenly father, you know. And this is uh, Romans 12 and 2. And it reads through the holy scriptures. And it says, uh, it says, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and the perfect in the will of God, which is Yahweh of Israel. So it's important for the Israelite man to come out of the ways of this world, but be renewed in our mind. of this modern day Babylonian system. So we gotta come out of those ways to come back into the ways of the heavenly father. Just like I mentioned of uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times, you know. And I'm gonna bring that out as well too. Since I uh, mentioned that, 
This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation and the fear of the Lord's treasure. Right, so wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Isaiah 55 and verse 6, seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call upon him while he is near. And I'm going to bring that scripture out, and I'm going uh, to definitely for sure close out for today. And this is uh, Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6. And this is the book of Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6. It says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call upon him while he is near. Right now is the time for the children of Israel to seek the Lord now so more than ever. And turn from our evil and wicked ways and come back into the ways of righteousness. And this is uh, Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 7. It says, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, for he have mercy upon him. To our God, Yahweh of Israel, for he will abundantly prove Right, once you come back into the ways of the Heavenly Father, turn from our evil and wicked ways, come back into the ways of righteousness, you know, and stop continually being 100% fully indulged in the ways of this modern day Babylonian uh, society. Come back into the ways of the Heavenly Father, you know, and that's turning from our evil and wicked ways of what this world uh, promotes for us to fulfill to. Like we got to come back and come back into the form, back into the ways of the Heavenly Father, as us being the children of Israel. You know, the 12 tribes of Israel from the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. So with that, hopefully this uh, lesson was uh, edifying out here on the highways and hedges. Uh, on this Friday, uh, October the 6th at 12.54 p.m. And once again, the water Yahweh HaShem Al-Shaq, the water Yahweh of Israel, for giving us the opportunity and chance to come out and do so on the highways and hedges. So with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh HaShem, Yahweh Shai HaShem, Yahweh Shout out one to the uh, elders for preaching the word, truth, and sincerity. In the names of Yahweh Hashem El Shabbat, Hashem of Bar Kadash. In the heavenly father's true name is uh, Yahweh of Israel. In his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, in the name of the Mashiach, Yahweh Shah. Those are their true names in the ancient Hebrew Hebrew, the Lashem of Kadash, the whole time. When I say shout out to the elders out there, that's for sure. And shout out to the Akim as well, too. And shout out to the Akwa sisters as well, too. In the names of Yahweh Hashem El Shabbat, Hashem of Bar Kadash. Until next time, I will say Shalom, Elders, Wa Akim, Wa Akwa. Until next time, I will say Shalom.